What up, everybody? It's your boy, Nautical. Welcome back to a new video. I wanted to say thank you to everybody out there that supports the videos by liking, sharing, subscribing, and just putting it out on all their social media so I can get more exposure. So without you guys, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be wanting to make these videos. So I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I wanted to talk to you guys about what work, gaming, YouTube, and family and how all that stuff affects like just the normal person, I guess, that does all the different things and how they're so spread so thin when it comes to doing YouTube and all these other activities. First, gaming almost takes like the back seat to most of it, which is the crazy thing. You know, we all got into this because we like to share our gameplay and, you know, see if we can entertain hundreds or thousands or even millions of other people with just the things that we like to put out and say and comment over and that's where it all started with gaming but then it turns into a fashion a situation where you um really treat your youtube channel like gaming itself it becomes the one thing that you fixate over to try to make better it's just like when you were coming up when you were younger wanting to be better at basketball or be better at a first person shooter you put hundreds and hundreds of hours into it to become somewhat respectable and then to the point where you become really really good at it and that's the same thing that happens with youtube you really can't do it part time you know in order to get better at it you have to put the time in you know and in some aspects videos can take almost a work day you know to put in just to get what you want and get the quality that you want out of it so gaming always takes a backseat to most of that, you know, when it really comes to, like lately uh, for me, most of my videos have been made on top of the fact that I haven't been um, gaming as much because of my job over the course of the holidays being in retail being the busiest time. So I don't have time to do it. And that's another reason why videos were so light in the month of December. Um, but uh, the biggest thing that, you know, I want people to realize is, you know, no matter what. As long as you guys are here to watch it, I'll make it. And that's the one thing that helps a YouTuber, you know, not go say, go insane at the end of a day, you know. It's not all about the views. It's not always about that. It's just, just the interactions you have in the comment section of your videos when you're talking to some of your people or when they hit you up on social media or just seeing the fact that somebody retweeted your video to somebody else. It lets you know that you have other people out there that's helping you grow this and it's not just you by yourself. And that is the biggest thing that um, drives me as a YouTuber because I'm not big enough, nowhere near big enough to, you know, um, just rely on this for what it is. You know, I didn't get into this for any type of financial stake. It was more of, hey, this is cool. I want to I want to see what I could do with this. And I started you know, applying myself by doing things like getting Adobe, um, the C Adobe Creative Studio, just so I can make better videos and um, got a mic, got a couple of extra monitors so I can multitask a little bit better. You know, all these things that you don't need to do, but I did them because I wanted to make my sh um, streams or my actual videos better. And to me, that's what makes them better for me. Now, if we tie that over to what happens with the family. Now, family is like the most important thing. You know, it's the reason you go to work every day. It's the reason you do all the things you do. Because my family is everything to me. My wife I've been with for 13 years now. We've been married for six. She's like the beacon of my life. I don't know what I would do without her. I have my oldest daughter. She's 12 and she's about to be a teenager. And every time I look at her, I feel like I want to kill somebody because I'm like, I have a beautiful daughter. And I just know how asshole guys like, you know, are out there and just want to make sure that, you know, I prepare her for life outside of um, these four walls that she's in outside of what she already knows when she's going out and about to school. And then I have my five year old, which is <laughs> the Tasmanian devil, always full of energy, always doing um something that she shouldn't be doing but you know she's always looking out for her older sister and her older sister's always looking out for her 
and and I'm and I'm thankful to have a family that is that put together. Um, but being a YouTuber and being a gamer and working full time, some things that you have to learn that you have to take breaks. You have to be able to help um, with the little things around the house because you know my wife she understands half the stuff I do. But you know if I wasn't able to just step back and help her, you know be a mom or not even be a mom, but just be somebody that doesn't put everything on her. You know, she sees what I'm doing as something that I really, really like. And it's a hobby for me. And she's accepted of that. But it's still my responsibility to make sure that I'm always here to help her, you know, get anything done that she wants to get done. You know, come home, cook food whenever she works. Cause she works full time job too, just like I do. And, um, as much as I look at YouTube as a second job, it's not a financial second job. It's a second job that I treat as a hobby. And um, I have to make sure that I keep that in perspective. And that's what most people have to do. Until you can say that your YouTube can pay your bills, you have to treat it as a hobby that is something that you just do for fun. And that's the only reason you should be doing it is for fun. Most people that um, make it on YouTube make it by accident. You know, now it is hard work, but you have to put that time in and you have to get lucky in some instances. So family is going to be everything and they're going to be the ones that's going to support you get the furthest with anything that you're doing, um, you know, hobby wise, financial wise, just anything that you're trying to do. Your family's going to always have your back on that regard. So make sure you have their back by always being there to do everything you can do um, to help that along so they don't feel alienated and feel like whatever you're doing isn't as important as what they need you to do. Um, and then your job, your real job, like my job, I work at GameStop, I'm a store manager and I treat my job like I treat my family. The people I hire at my job are my family. They are. I see them almost more than I see my real family at home. And I build it as an extension to myself. Like whatever my faults and weaknesses are, I make sure I hire people in my store that can make, you know, cover up those faults and weaknesses. You know, everybody can't be good at everything, but I have people that are good in every category that I'm not good in. And I learn from them because I understand that. And I have a really good balance between work and home. I, it was a long time ago where I used to always bring home, um, bring my work home and always wonder like, what can I do to improve this and improve that? Pretty much like I do like my YouTube channel. But over the course of being a store manager for three years, you kind of get to a a very safe place where you just understand that the things that are going on around you, you know, you have, you have no control over everything. So control the things you can't control. And that is me by, and me saying that is say control the people you bring into your store, the people that you interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. And your life will be a lot less crazier, you know, I don't deal in drama at home. I don't deal in drama at work. I don't deal in drama when I'm playing video games and I don't deal in drama when I'm on YouTube making videos. If I see a comment for somebody that doesn't, you know, align with, I think, and they're just straight being disrespectful, I'll block them. If somebody's, if I interview somebody and I feel like they're not a good fit for my store because of the attitude they have, I won't bring them in is, you know, my job is my number one source of income and it's the place I spend the most time at. So why would I subject myself to craziness in something that I'm around 90% of the time? Nobody would do that. So that's my take on my job and my family and everything in between gaming and YouTube. And I love doing all of them. I love my job. I love my family immensely love my family too much. It's like, you know, sometimes I sit back and when my kids are 
away spending time with um like their cousins or we my, my mom was in town a couple of weeks ago uh, for the holidays and it was like I miss my kids I came home from work after a long day like during the holidays and my kids weren't here and I was like oh my god I miss my kids and you know now I got to spend a lot of quality time with my wife during that time which was really really fun and then um my brother he's just like always there for me for anything I need and you know won't give up until he sees me move closer to him so we can have that that brotherly bond where we're sitting next to each other, you know, down the street. Well, not sitting next to each other, but down the street from each other. It's like, what you doing? Hey, I'm on my way down to your house. He's been really working on me to try to move closer to him in the area that he lives in. So, um, but, but, you know, that's what family is. Family always wants to be together. And that's what I love about it. So, you know, guys, tell me what gaming family and work and if you do youtube youtube what does all that stuff mean to you what would you do uh if this you had this opportunity to do the things that i like to do you know leave a comment down below and um make sure you um subscribe to the video and make sure you um like it too um but only do that if you see fit you know because ultimately all that's going to do is tell me is I need to do better at what I need to do. And I don't want hand me outs. I just want to be told the truth so I can make the best content that I can for you guys. So like I said, happy new years, 2017. We're about to go out with a, we're about to come in with a bang, not go out with a bang. We're, you know, the bangs already started. Now we're about to start a whole nother chapter in um, the gaming forte career. So appreciate you guys listening this long. And if you guys got any questions, you know, you can hit me up on uh, Twitter at Gaming Forte, Facebook at Gaming Forte, and all the other social medias. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening. Peace.